circles can also have some relationships. Right now, this circle is external to this circle. But if I move it here to the just that their uh, circumferences touch at one point, we can say that these two circles are tangent. And in fact, they are externally tangent. Because if I move it inside to just one point where they touch, then we can say that these two circles are internally tangent. And if we have this circle that passes through the circumference at two points, we can say the circle is secant to the other circle. So here we have two circles and their relationship is they are external to one another. What do you think the distance between uh, the center of one circle to the other is relative to the radius? Do you think we could just add these two radiuses up and that would equal the distance between the circle's centers? No, the distance is greater than the uh, sum of the two radiuses. But what if I move my circle to be tangent to the other circle? then what is the distance between the two centers? It's the sum of the radiuses of the two circles. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what about if I move this circle to be internally tangent? What can we say about the distance from the center of one circle to the center of the other circle relative to the radiuses here? we can subtract the difference. The distance between the centers of two circles that are internally tangent is equal to the difference between the two radiuses. Now, what about when we have a circle that is secant? So let's see, if it's here, secant like this, it would be the sum of the two um, radiuses, but if it's here, it would be more than the sum. That distance would be more. So how, what kind of a statement could we make about this? The distance between the centers of these two circles that are secant is less than the sum of its radiuses. Maybe you'd like to explore this more with some other circles.